हिस्टोरी ऑफ कंप्यूटर 2500 बीसी द एबाकस एबाकस इज द फर्स्ट काउंटिंग मशीन इट इज मैन्युअली यूज्ड फॉर एडिशन सबस्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लेक्शन एंड डिवीजन 1614 AD Napier's bones Napier's bones was invented by John Napier a Southeast mathematician A set of bones consisted of nine rods on for a digit on those nine and a consistent rod for the digit 0 1633 AD the slide rule it was invented by william othred the slide rule is embodied by the two set of scale that are joined together with a marginal space between them 16 42 AD the rotating wheel calculator it was first developed by a Francis philosopher Balis Pascal it consists of gear and levels this is a procedure to today's electronic calculator 18 22 AD the difference engine it was built by Charles Babbage British mathematician and engineer this is a father of computer AT 1980 earlier a tablet machine It was developed by Herman Hollier. It was designed by using Pons card. So we're in the Harvard Science Center which is the crossroads of the Harvard campus. A lot of the science departments have their classrooms and offices in here. What's behind us here is the Mark 1 computer which was a early electromechanical computer. So the Mark 1 computer is here at Harvard because Howard Hathaway Aiken who was the person who conceived and designed the machine in collaboration with IBM engineers was uh, a Harvard professor of uh, applied mathematics and he wanted to relieve the labor of solving numerical equations by mechanical calculation that was done on pencil and paper. And what we have here is actually only a a chunk of it. It was 51 feet long when it was all in one piece. It could do 3 additions per second. Uh a multiplication took 6 seconds and a division took 15 seconds. So this was a huge advance over doing things with pencil and paper, but it was um slow work and keeping the machine going all the time was a major feat of electromechanical uh engineering expertise it was used for ballistics calculations for calculating the trajectory of missiles and it was also used for a little bit of the calculation in the manhattan project for uh, determining the uh the right parameters for the atomic bomb so what you see here are uh paper tape drives So the program was punched in paper tape and was on a loop. What you see there are registers that would correspond to the stored memory of the machine which was only used for data. The uh, program itself was fixed. Generation of computer. First generation. 1914 56 vacuum tube the first generation of computer used vacuum tube for 
circuitry and the native drum for memory. It can solve only one problem at the time. This is a big size computer. Second generation, 1956-1963. Transistor. The second generation of computers replaced vacuum tube by transistor. Transistor used bounce cards from input and print out for output. Third generation from 1964-1970 Integrated Circuits Transistors were made smaller in size and placed on silicon sieve. It increased the speed and efficiency of computers. It can solve many problems at a time. Fifth generation, present and beyond. Artificial intelligence. Fifth generation computers will come close to blind the gap between computing and thinking. We can now make movies, medicals, 3D computer animation play a video game of business navigation space technology and many more 